It's uh, Ruth's Chris, right in Water Place Park. We've got Frank Schiavone. Yes. Am I saying that right? Okay. You got it. Yep. And what are we making today, Frank? Tonight, today we're going to do a uh, barbecue shrimp appetizer. Mm -hmm. uh, there's the shrimp. Yep. Uh, it's going to starts off with white wine, oil, uh, gets cooked down with butter, mm -hmm. a touch of heavy cream, and uh, topped with scallions. We have like five ingredients. This is going to be so simple. You know, it, it, it's simple, but mm -hmm. that's what we're really about. It's about simple food, but it's just the, the product is great, and mm -hmm. it's all about taste. And the presentation is very nice itself. And with Style Week, we wanted to do something light, and it, it obviously complements the drink very, very well. So I don't know. One of the things we're going to be doing later is making a signature drink to celebrate Style Week. Uh, what are we going to be making? The uh, Stylista. The Stylista. Okay, yes. and we don't want to give too much away, but is that another simple drink to make as well? Anybody at uh, home could, could do well, it? Well, there, there's some muddling involved. Uh -huh. um, there's two different, uh, there's a vodka, there's a gin, mm -hmm. but not to say too much, but it's extremely tasty. Uh, there's mint involved too. It's very refreshing and it complements this appetizer unbelievably. Okay, so. good, good, good. You're also part of an after party, I believe, yes, too, right? Yes, we are, yep. That'll be Saturday night. Uh, the show runs until about 8, so it'll run about 8 to 9 o'clock, mm -hmm. and that's when it'll start you know, heating up, and it's going to be a great, great event. Uh, we have two bars on our outside patio. Wow, good. We have our uh, private dining room uh, section door for like a VIP area, mm -hmm. and we also have the back of our dining room. Is gonna be, there's going to be bars in there also. So wow, so you it's guys are be be busy great event. too. Absolutely. All right, love it, love it, love it. Have the uh, fashion runway shows and the little party. What's better than that? We want to let everybody know at home, too. You can find recipe and ingredients for this great appetizer and also the drink, the Stylista, on our website, foxprovidence.com. We are cooking here in the kitchen with Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. The guys from Ruth's Chris will be hosting the after event soiree on Saturday night, the big closing night, my night. And I'm here with the sales manager, Derek Brazo, and general manager, Jeff Mancino. And we are here to cook up something delicious. What are we making today? Uh, today we are making a drink that's indigenous to Style Week for you. It's uh, called the Stylista, and wow. it's kind of a take on a mojito uh, with some really fresh ingredients. I only drink before noon on special occasions, so I'm very <laughs> excited to get this going today. Let's I go. usually make breakfast at this time, not cocktails. Amazing, <laughs> amazing. So yeah, so tell us a little bit about what goes into it. Um, first, we're going to start with a couple of cucumbers here fresh cucumbers then we're going to take about four sprigs of mint I usually put those on my eyes but I'll drink them today <laughs> mint's good for the breath too if anyone is looking about meeting that special someone at the after event these drinks are going to be great for you and there'll be enough people there let me yeah add. exactly there will be over 300 people at the at Roots Chris uh, yeah this coming Saturday starting at nine o'clock yeah absolutely. Uh, right after your Right after show. my show, which That's is at right. 8 p.m. Muddle, muddle, muddle. A lot of grumbling bartenders at Roots Chris. Yes. Making this delicious cocktail for all of us. You know you're muddling it right when you get it all over your soup. <laughs> That's you got to really it. get the <laughs> flavors up. That's, That's your muddling <laughs> suit. That's right. All right. I can't wait to taste this. Okay, just a little bit of ice. A little bit of ice never hurts. Keeping it cool. F and cucumber flavored vodka. Oh, I've heard of F and uh, black cherry, but never cucumber. Delicious. About an ounce. Hendrick's gin, which is actually made from cucumbers and rose petals. Delicious. About an ounce as well. Oh my god. Then we're going to shake it up. I'm getting thirsty, Jeff. You're going to love it, Jonathan. I'm excited. So give it a good it. shake so you can get the flavors out. The cucumber in a minute. It's going to be a lot of muddling going on on Saturday. A lot of muddling. <laughs> Fantastic. And just a little bit of a club soda here. Do I get to taste? Do I you get sure to taste? You sure do. All you. And then, of course, we garnish and make it look nice and pretty. Fantastic. Look at that garnish. All right, everyone, here's the true test. I am an expert in matters of the cocktail. So let's just take a sip. That's delicious. Thank That's you very much. absolutely delicious and refreshing. Thank you. So once again, Roots Chris Steakhouse. Roots Chris Steakhouse. Saturday. 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 My after event. Correct. And three other designers. Yes. 9 p.m. We'll mm -hmm. see everybody there. Nice huge crowd. It's going to funnel out from the pee pack. Mm -hmm. Drinking stylistas, Correct. eating the food. Red carpet event. Thank you so much, Roots Chris. I know you've donated food to us for mm -hmm. Style Week, and now you've donated your venue for this amazing event. Absolutely. And we are all looking forward to partying yeah, with you guys. We look forward as well. Much. Yeah, Let's thank do you it. so yes. much. Yeah. We look forward to it, having a good time. Absolutely. It's a good opportunity for people that aren't from Providence that are experiencing Style Week for the first time. Back to you, Danielle. <laughs> All right, we're celebrating Style Week in the kitchen. We've got Frank from Roots Chris making a stylish barbecue shrimp appetizer. Very easy. Yes, very but simple. But very good, and you can pull it off at home too, right? Yes. So, Jonathan, you're going to help cook today. I'm nervous. Are you okay with this? No. 
Okay. Um, I'm more at home behind a sewing machine, right. but I'll give it my best shot. Okay, good. So what does Frank need to teach Jonathan to do? <laughs> what I'm going to do here today is I'm going to have Danielle saute, and I'm going to have you um, add the ingredients. I'm going to walk you through it. Don't be nervous about okay, it. Okay. That I can You'll do it. fine. So first off, you just want to get your pan hot. Mm -hmm. We have oil already in the uh, in the pan. Okay. So we're gonna wait for that to heat up just mm -hmm. a quick second. Is All there right. any old olive oil? What kind of oil are we using? It's just basic canola oil. Canola. Very oil. very simple. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Right. And shrimp. Uh, I know there's always different sizes. What kind are we using? That will be a U8. The U8. Yes. Did you know there's different like there's like U12, U16. Yeah. Yeah. I usually pick out my shrimp like this. That one. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good. I'll take that one. Okay. And so the U8. Obviously. Um, People get a little testy with shrimp, you know, making sure it's cooked right. So I'm going to show you a little trick. Okay. Once you know how it's, you know, typically done, you'll see that the skin is actually going to fold a little bit, mm -hmm. and it'll get a certain color to it. Okay. So we have nothing to be nervous about. You're in good hands with me. All right. You want to add that now, or yeah, John, okay. you can throw that right in there. All right. All right. Did I do that right? There you go. Yep. You get all five in there. Good. You also like to let the pan move around because you don't want. Once the oil and the shrimp hit each other, yeah. you don't want your shrimp to stick because then it can tear. Yeah, and that's, that's no good. not pretty. It's not good for your presentation either. No, and that's the thing with appetizers, it is about the presentation. Well, it's the first thing you see. Yeah. So, I mean, it's very, very important. And this is very popular at Ruth's Chris. Yes, very, very popular. Last time we did the veal ravioli, that's popular too, but this really takes the cake. You doing this at the after party? Yes. Oh, this would be there, yay. yeah. And, and like again. I said, it goes with that stylus so well. It's uh -huh. refreshing, you know, barbecue, shrimp, it's light, so. You could flip those. Jealous. Mm -hmm. You got it first, Jonathan. I know. It's only fair. She's doing more see, work. See how that I shrimp's starting mm -hmm. to uh, I do. Starting to fold a little bit? I do, bit. yep. I do. You can see it curl up yep. on the edge there. All right. And once you add your wine, it's still going to cook. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, just give this just about a second. Now, you were talking about the crowd you're expecting Saturday night. Like 300, yes. you're going to be packed. It's going to be awesome. That is going to be a, a great night. It's, it's a great night for us, too. And mm -hmm. uh, like Jeff said earlier, you know, something different in Providence, and it brings yeah. a different concept to Ruth's Chris, too. You know, mm -hmm. typically you have prime dining and all that, so yeah. it shows that we hit all areas of any kind of experience. Yeah, you know? it's going to be awesome. All right. You could add your uh, white wine. Mm -hmm. what, any old white wine will do? Yep. Oh, Ooh. I'm scared of that. All right. And? Just uh, about a pinch of the scallions. Those are cut really fancy. I don't know if I could do that. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, scallions, and then what's yep. next, Frank? And then after that, we're just going to let this wine reduce by about half. Mm -hmm. And we're also going to get our barbecue butter. Oh, yes. That's one of the things you are famous for, this yes. butter. Ah, secret that. ingredient. Love it. Yep. Okay, you put that in there, and that's going to really sauce this up, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then at the end, we're just going to add a little hint of heavy cream, mm -hmm. just to, you know, it gives that rich flavor. It's a great compliment to the dish. Itself. You have a finished product. Why don't we pull yeah. it out and take a look? Jonathan, Let's you can pretend you're it. walking around at the after party. Can you tell I waited party. so long to jump to the oven? Look at Look that. At that. Ta -da. Look at that. That is a beautiful appetizer. Pretty colors. And what are we serving it with? That's just a, a toasted bread with mm -hmm. uh, the barbecue butter on it. It's just it's more for design. More for design. Isn't that Smells what it's about, awesome. right? Absolutely. All about the style. It's the week. All right. Well, thank you so much, Ruth, Chris, for joining us. Absolutely. Have a great after party. Thank you very much. Thank you. Jonathan's going to be enjoying Absolutely. himself having a sigh of relief after the show is over.